do it. Hey, where are the white women at? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we are live. That might be the first thing heard on the show this week. That's right. What's happening? Everybody? I ask that all the time. I ask that all the time. Come home, ask Ivana, where are the white women at? <laughs> How's everybody doing? What's everybody up to tonight? Ivana just calls me a racist. She's sleeping on my blood shoe. That's because she wants you to know she owns you. She wants me to know that anytime she wants, she, she'll go in for some. She's like, I'm just going to take a little lick to show you it's mine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, heard you left some of the, I heard you left some of this on the street and at the hospital. That's it. You better go get it. Unauthorized deposits is what they call those. Yep. Oh, in case anybody exactly. wasn't paying attention, I did want this to be known. Mm-hmm. I'm just a couple subs away from being halfway to jumping off of the garage into the ball pit. Oh, it's off the garage now? Well, yeah, I said, but, you know, by the time I figure that, the ball pit will be long gone and sold, so I'll have to figure out something else at that point. You have to get an above-ground pool and fill it with VG. Jello. Jello. Or maybe oh, I'll might, just go buy a whole be. bunch of those little uh, tiny balls that fucking suck up the water, yeah, those little but, petroleum uh, balls or whatever. You know, the fucking YouTube video, dude. Water beeves. Yeah. Oh, that could be terribly dangerous. It's going to be fun. <laughs> you are the best bug. Like TJ cannonballs into yeah. it and then tries to get and then tries to get up <laughs> and he starts slipping and he just starts inhaling it starts inhaling the little balls. Uh, that's Five. exactly how that'll go. And oh. he's down. He's oh. down. Oh, that didn't take long. <laughs> I know, actually, what I was speaking of, I was waiting for somebody to hit the hashtag boycott Vupu to come into the room. I didn't think that was going to take long today. In the first yeah. 10 minutes. Well done, sir. Well done. Wow. Hashtag fuck Vupu. Right. That is some pretty, you know, I, I did kind of want to talk about that because that is some pretty shady fucking business, what they were doing there. So what exactly is it? Because everybody's been fucking vague. Um... If I went back and I watched um, Tony's video today on it, basically what had happened was they decided when they made the Pulse 80 that they wanted to use the gene chip from Vupu. Well, he decided mm-hmm. he wanted to use that, and he talked Randy Vape into it. They're like, all right. So they got into the workings with them oh, and decided on a deal that they were going to get 40,000 units. And they set a price. And then what they did is they pushed it back and pushed it back and pushed it back. And then they upped the price by 15%. And then they upped the price another 15%. And then all of a sudden it came to a big head where it was, um, yeah, no, we're not going to even talk to you. We're not going to do anything even though we've got this agreed upon contract that we've written ourselves out of now at this point. So now they're without it which is why that Pulse kit now is being pushed back. Which, I get it on the one side, but on the other side of that, Vupu also took time to, uh, because they had the schematics for the new 80 watt, this is not it by any means, but they had the schematics for it because they had to figure out how to fit their chip in there and make sure everything was right. They took the idea, liked it, and they're in the process of creating their own 80 watt off of their gene chip. Squonk type mod. So it was kind of a delay, delay, up the price, up the price. And then, oh, we're going to use this. And because it's our own chip, we don't have to up the price. And we're going to undercut you on price to make yours look like a piece of shit. So uh, what they ended up doing from what I gathered in the video is they will not be using that chip. Um, he had people asking him, why don't you just use the DNA chip? He's like, because I wanted the price point to be something that the general population can afford. He said, because like right away in the beginning of the video, his whole thing was, Make when it he first started lot. squonking, the only squonkers that you could find out there were like the high-end Italian stuff, two, three, four, five hundred dollars $500. And who's got that kind of money to fucking sling around on squonkers? His whole idea of building a squonk mod was to bring something affordable that could help it go mainstream and to make the average vapor be able to afford that type of mod. So it, it was a really shitty thing that Vupu did on their part. 
I mean, he even read a verbatim statement off of their website how they want to help grow the global community and work with other companies and all of this. But it was just shitty all around. So I can't see. Let's talk to Tesla. <laughs> the Tesla chip's a badass. Yeah, so it, apparently Vandy Vape, they went and created their own chip. He said it's good. Oh. He said he just liked the gene chip. That's why he pushed him for it initially. He <laughs> said, but there's nothing wrong with the Vandy Vape chip. But he said he wanted that gene chip. So at this point, they're going to go with the Vandy Vape chip, and that's going to bring the price point down. So it, it, it's kind of a, it's a toss-up. It's a shitty thing for Vupu to do, but on the other side of that, as a consumer, you're actually going to... You're going to be a little well, more well off just purely on the fact of where the price point is. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ, uh, meter. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Brilliant, meter. I like it. <laughs> you, I get my official Yeti Wire cards, it's over. <laughs> I mean, he's he's dropping he's dropping promos out there for shit that's just amazing. <laughs> All right, I had pretty decent luck with you guys getting my picks for me last time. So here we go, everybody. You're getting my picks again. Uh -oh. What'd you get me? If I get if if I get Tiny B again for Final uh, Fantasy X, everybody. Tiny oh, B. If I get Tiny B. I'm gonna be irate. I'm what gonna blame Gizzard Stew. What is that? Oh, crap. It's a couple of little golden guns. All right, it's not. Let's find out what that is. I don't recognize that. I don't know, but there was something with a lot of star spikes. It's got to be good. Nice. Uh, this is for Lulu. Ooh, I don't have anything. Oh, it's a legend material for Lulu. Increase the, the, the user's magic up a moderate amount proportional to the number of black magic ice attacks the user has dealt. It's always left private at yet. Why not? Not bad. Okay. Now, um, that Tony B thing, that's off my list. Now, I don't... If you guys want to talk about it some more, feel free, but... Shit. That was something I wanted to briefly touch on. I wasn't really going to go that depth, but since people didn't know, I figured I would enlighten them as far as to what I saw. And then the other thing I did want to make note of here, um, if you live in the San Francisco area... Jen Berger Coleman did put out, I think. Make sure you guys are voting no. It's a uh, Prop E, if I remember correctly. Is that right? Yep. Prop yes. E. Vote no on Prop E. Because um, that's the one that's going to be um, working that flavor ban on um, menthol cigarettes, flavored e-liquids, cigarellos, and any other sort of um, flavored tobacco product. Um, make sure you guys are voting no on that because that is will set a precedent for other cities. So well. make sure that you guys get out there and vote no. Um, if you guys know people in the area, make sure you're advising them to vote no on it as well. Um, even if it's a smoker, you know a smoker that smokes Newport? Tell them to go fucking vote no because there goes their Newports. True that. You know what? Um, so anyone who you can get to do it, go do that. Um, it's good for the community as a whole. Granted, that did put another idea into my mind that I was thinking. Uh, so, when all of those flavor bands start to go into effect, does that mean they can't sell, like, the concentrates in there? Because it's not actually an e-liquid No, they can certainly point. sell concentrates. Yeah, and then just sell bottles of VG separate. Mm-hmm. Nicked up VG. Yeah. yeah. So, I, it, there, there's a way around it, however... Uh, for most people, they're not going to want to do that and then wait the steep time out and all of that. Most people want their stuff ready to go now. That's why you yeah, go it, into a brick it, and mortar. If anybody asks, you're running a vape and bakery shop. That's why you have the flavors in there. Yeah. Because it's for baking. You make your own candies at home because you can use less sugar and less processed corn syrup. That's what most commercial flavorings are for is candies. Yep, exactly. Candies and candies and snow cones. What do we got? Pink pussy out in the chat. Because I want. I mean, everybody wants to be like Tom Brady and have avocado candies and everything. I mean, right? if you're into that kind of thing, why not? Just so long as you don't go, um, you know, being a cocksucker and making your wife shake hands for you, you're good. That's right, K Bliss. A bakery. I like it. Hell yeah. No, Did not. Like his robot voice talking again. 
No? Okay. What's up, Flavor Pro? What's happening? Then, so, uh, I have one thing I can talk about real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so, Real Flavors has released their PG line. Um, the flavor list is not what I was hoping it was going to be, but it's called uh, One Drop Flavors. It's OneDropFlavors.com. And it's now through the weekend, you can get a 30 mil of each flavor for 79 cents. And free wow. shipping. So, yep, with free shipping over any order over $5. So um, I went ahead and ordered the entire the entire line, uh, except for menthol, and it cost me like eleven dollars and fifty cents. So I'm interested. I'm I mean, for seventy nine cents, uh, with as many problems as I've had with real flavors, um, and as many problems as people in the community have kind of had with real flavors, uh, I mean, for seventy nine cents, it's 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 so <laughs> I'm willing to check it out. Worth a shot. Yeah, and uh, you know the the problems I've had with real flavors is they're mixing, and the the other problems are completely separate. Um, I know Jen, I know Jen Jarvis doesn't like real flavors, and I know a lot of people won't touch them. But uh, now, now they said the weird thing is it was almost implying that you could add those two other. Email. Yeah, they are saying I can see with maybe the name of the one drop. Good. Yeah, oh. one drop flavors. Yeah. Uh, one. Just if you if you search for one drop flavors, you'll find them. But yeah, I mean, uh, it's up to you if you want to get. Them. They're, they're out there for seventy nine cents. I can't say I can't say don't go get them, because yeah. there's an off chance that they might be really good. If um, you go to their website and you go to the PG based um, flavorings, it'll take you right to it and yeah, the sixteen flavors. So. Uh, Vincent, you want to know where to get Nick Salts? Uh, Nicotine River. Just be careful. If you, although you've been hanging, Vincent's been hanging out for a little bit. I'm sure you're fine with it. But and if as always, I will give you that caution. Be careful. Speaking of um, being careful with Nick Salts, did anybody see old mm -hmm. Robbie is um, doing a week trial of uh, 24 milligram Nick Salt? Oh, Robbie Vapes? Yeah. And he said he's going to vlog it and put a put a video out or on it. that's all he vapes? Yeah, where that's all he vapes for the week. Um, I noticed it in one of his Facebook posts. He said uh, the first rip he took off it, he immediately got fucking high, basically. <laughs> yeah. That'll happen. Uh, there you go. I've only got flavors from real flavors that I needed for development for commercial recipes. I don't vape real flavors in my personal vaping. There you go. There you are, everybody. Like I said, like I said, think what you will about real flavors. For seventy nine cents, I'm willing to I'm willing to give it a shot. And you know, if I don't like them, I can give them away live on a show. That's <laughs> it. I can pass I can pass the paint on. Someone will want them. <laughs> I, I could send them to my to my official sponsor, yetiwire.com. <laughs> Just send him a box of 30 mils of flavors that he'll open like, oh sweet, a strawberry puts it in and tastes like tastes like the worst stra like strawberry assholes. <laughs> it tastes like rotten strawberries. <laughs> exactly. Like someone's yeah. had a strawberry up their butt for two weeks. But see, my uh my uh palate is so <laughs> so backwards, that would probably be awesome to me. <laughs> That's strawberry ever fresh 03. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean this is nasty? So you see, it's just for the rest of the rest of eternity, Fresh just has a really concerned eyebrow anytime <laughs> anytime Yeti's uncle's on. Sure, give us what you hate. <laughs> That's right. That's right, pink pussy. Oh. Did you know, did you see it? I, I'm a little upset that pink pussy is two words instead of it being one word. Yeah. Tighten it well, shit up. Together, huh? That happens. Kegels. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean everybody everybody who's in college at one point or another, isn't that right, pink pussy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, um other top of the news things that I wanted to talk about before we get completely off track, because I know it's coming. It's just a matter of when. 
I'm glad everybody gets a giggle out of that. I hope everybody did their part because I think we're over that 10 day mark for that vote for Congress there. And there was some. Uh, not yet. Oh, we're not yet. Or, wait a minute. No, it's. What I is think it? It's Friday. Monday and Tuesday, I want to say. Oh, is it? Okay. Um, well, no, it's next. It's next week. Next. Uh, 22nd and 23rd, so it's next Thursday and Friday. Bear with me. Yeah, I need to pull up an email because I want to share something with you guys. Because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little perturbed at the response I got from them. Bear with me. Oops. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Is it Ron Johnson from Wisconsin fucking with you? No, it was not. It was Senator, Tom, uh, Senator Tammy Baldwin out of Wisconsin. Republican or Democrat? Um, she's a Democrat, if I remember correctly. There we go. <laughs> yeah, let me find the right one here. So she sent, I got the automatic response message first, and then I got one that was a little more, um, a little more personalized. It's a free, it's a form letter, because I can tell. Based on, apparently, she's been contacted on this before we're here. Um, but the basic gist of what her email states is, I understand there are many people that use e-cigarettes to help them quit smoking tobacco and other traditional tobacco products. I believe it's critical, blah, 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 the general garbage here. But it says, right here is what pissed me off the most. The federal government has not yet determined the full health impacts of electronic cigarettes, and some believe they may contain other harmful substances, and high levels of nicotine that may be toxic to young children. Motherfucker, you using the children thing off, uh, in, in a free-form letter to me on this? Yes. And I'm gone. Apparently, you don't realize that cigarettes are also harm, harmful to children there as well, because um, you kind of just wrote that off in there. And then, to top it off, how do you? How does the federal government not know? There's already been things that are changing and moving in the right direction on that aspect. Isn't the American Cancer Society that said, "Hey, this is a better alternative to help people quit." Okay. Well, yeah. Um, so, to be fair, the American Cancer Society is a uh, is a uh, private organization. They are a nonprofit charity. Uh, they're one of the big big charity that uh, has been villainized for good reason. Throw a quick aside out. Just, I don't know that this has ever happened before, and I, I feel that it does warrant the attention. Stan is here before eleven o'clock. True. Uh, he was here before the show, actually. I'm saying. Yeah, this, I know. This this is unprecedented, and I, and I feel that just a small. Eh. Just a little so, um, any of you who are from Wisconsin that are out there, I, I know there's a couple of you. Um, shoot Tammy Baldwin a message. Blast her email box. I agree. If she doesn't do what we want, we can always vote somebody else in. If she doesn't want to take the time to make people's lives better, then she doesn't deserve to be in our office. I'm just saying, there are people out there who definitely can. Mr. Ron Johnson, prime example. Oh, um, make sure you guys are doing your part. Um, like I said, when I got that, I was pretty perturbed when I read that, and that was just a small tidbit of that that I did want to um, share with you guys. Um, so, but you guys do know, um, sometimes you actually do get responses from these places, and not just the. Uh, like, I got the automatic responses first, but then I got a second response from her, which I didn't expect a second response. And it was actually tailored to what I had actually written out there. So I, I, was, pre I was pretty um, stoked on that. I mean, to just get a response, that means they actually sat through and read through what the fuck it was that I wrote down. So make sure you guys are going in um, blasting all of that. Well, someone in the office always has to read it. That's one of those things. They have to read that. Uh, two hours. I love all those crazy fuckers who manage to sit through the four and a half hours on Saturday and watch me go from sober to shit-faced. 
<laughs> and then tell everybody on um, the fuck out at the end. Speaking of which, if I offended anybody at the end of um Saturday show, I don't give a goddamn because I was hammered. And I'm a nicer <laughs> guy than that when I'm sober. So, What'd you say? I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, it was, fuck this, I'm over it, deuces, I'm out, and I fucking ended the show like that, if I remember correctly. Okay. Just like that? And you were gone? Yeah, that's pretty much what happened if I remember correctly. I'd have to go back and rewatch the end of it, but I was... I was definitely um, getting to the point where I was starting to slur words. I wasn't quite to um, dizzle aspect, but I was close. <laughs> yeah, hey, there we go. <laughs> but I do appreciate everybody who did come and hang with us on that um, surprise Saturday show, which was um, accidentally leaked out by um, Alan over on Highway Vaping. So, you know. You want to give a fist bump to uh, Juan Castillo? A good cat right there. Oh, the, the the man behind Don Juan Coils over there on Instagrizzle. <laughs> <laughs> What's a good time? I did have fun. It was a very it was a very good very good. long show, but I, I mean that was exactly what I needed at that point. So um, it would been a while since we'd done one of those, so and the timing was definitely right. My wife caught the end of the replay and went, isn't that the guy that got hit by a car? What the hell was he doing? Yep. <laughs> he was de-stressing. <laughs> oh, I got the insurance claim. To, I got the insurance claim number today. So it was like zero. It was like the smoothest, the smoothest <laughs> thing ever. Like they, hey. just gave, like they just gave it up. They're just like, wow. they're like, all he wants is hospital bill taken care of. Uh, right, dude. Do, your, do yourself a favor. Be careful with that. I know, because that's what I do every day. I deal with fucking that kind of insurance. They they might go, oh, all they want is that initially. Yeah, and then they fucking dick around and fuck you, so be careful. I'll get in touch with them then. Alan <laughs> <laughs> says he didn't fucking leak anything out. He said a little bird. I think, what did you say? Uh... I heard that you might be going live later, right in the middle of your fucking show while I'm sitting there chatting with everybody. <laughs> I don't want to hear that nonsense. It's okay. That's why I brought you on. You weren't asleep until shit halfway, th or actually not halfway through the show. You made it about an hour in, I think, maybe. A little bit more. <laughs> Definitely a good time, though. And for those of you who live under a rock, um, short news segment, Stephen Hawking is dead. There you go. There's your short news segment of the day for those that live under a rock. Sucks. And it yep. is Pi Day, but we're not measuring circles here. Um, I mean, unless you want to measure the circumference, but that's your own um, thing. And keep that shit to yourself. Unless it's tuna can girth, I don't want to hear about it. No, I just want to be impressed, that's all. And a little bit jealous at the same time. Well, look at Letha. And you'll be impressed. <laughs> what do you know, Jason? <laughs> nice one, Letha. Nice. <clears throat> what do you need? Hi. How are you doing today, sir? Huh. <clears throat> <laughs> touche Alan touche alright now off the rails because there's nothing else that I really wanted to talk about today I'm going to just do whatever the fuck we feel like speaking of which um, what do we got for people we got over 40 out there anybody who would like to come on please let us know in chat and we will send you a link in private because um, um, I'm not going to go off the rails like I did on Saturday and just throw links out there willy-nilly. But anybody who would like to come on, go ahead and let us know, and we'll get you a link in private there, okay? Spider-Man just <laughs> grabbing his junk like crazy. Now we have Pink Pussy 03. Is that is that Fink? I, did, I believe it is. Fink! <clears throat> there we go. There we go. Much better. Fink, Fink still can't spell. Yep. <laughs> I 
Fireball shots Leafa. Oh. There's no fireball. Yep. There's no fireball. I have no fireball. Vinny apparently thinks Meter loves the pickles. I mean, love's a strong word. I'm strongly affectionate for pickles. I wouldn't say I love them. Mm. You ain't got to lie to kick it. We're nice guys. Like, come I wouldn't catch a bullet for a pickle, but like if you offered me one and we were walking down the street and it was like a nice afternoon, I might take it. Speaking of um, strange things, I, I like how you strangely managed to um, cover up your little LED problem with some heat train. Right? Well, believe it or not, I gave that son of a bitch four coats, Sharpie, like black permanent industrial marker. Like I would coat it and then let it dry and then like gently hit it with the fabric tip of the marker to try and give it like a thicker layer. Four coats and I could still see that bitch every second I hit the button and I was <laughs> literally starting to twitch a little bit. <laughs> and then was like, hey, why don't you just shrink wrap that shit? And I laughed because I literally like right at first week of January, one of those days where hashtag devils let us happen and I had the wish app open and I found a package of like 3000 shrink wrap two and a half inch sections in every size you can imagine from like Smurf nipple up to like horse cock. And it was a dollar with free shipping. And I was like, I will fucking do that. And it just showed up like three days ago and it was still sitting right on my entertainment center. As I'm sitting here reading that comment, I looked up and saw the package and went, and sure the fuck enough, 99.98% of the light from that annoying little LED inside that mod is nixed now. Not to mention the whole, um, I like how you did the little uh, shout out to Socrates there. Mm -hmm. That was, that was fucking outstanding. Most oh, uber hating yeah. cab driver I know. That was not my idea. And it was a hell of a fucking thought too. Cause as soon as he said it, as soon as I read it, I was like, damn, that's clever as shit. And then I saw it. I'm like, fuck, I can actually do that. I'm going to take her. And my wife was like, what are you doing? I'm like, shh, quiet woman. Science is happening. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> I was, to be honest, I was surprised you just didn't snip the leads and fucking solder them together. I really don't want to fuck with electrical wires if I don't have to, especially when it comes to mechanical mods where there's no safety whatsoever, I'd rather not alter a wire. It's that okay if you take the battery out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I play enough of a lottery using mech mods. I don't need to fuck with wires inside of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, Another that's cute. Card. Uh, are we gonna have to just ban me, <laughs> fucker? Yeah, let him go. Let him go. <laughs> the way I, I look mean, at it. Duplicate this. <laughs> Fuck. You want to look like that guy? Feel free. We're not. I'm not gonna <laughs> stop you. Situations. If you're gonna steal my identity, at least pay some bills, cause I'm fucking in deep. <laughs> <laughs> I got a mortgage, motherfucker. <laughs> And I got fucking bills to pay. If you're going to be me, pick one. Go after it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we should work on... We should do a spelling bee for Fink. That sounds like that could get interesting. Interesting. Doing a spelling bee? Yeah, with, with Fink. Everything's going to be one letter off, though. That's all right. It'll be good fun for the rest of us. True. Mm. Let's see. <laughs> I'm British. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> you guys be nice. Be be nice to him, Rufinis. It's okay. He just wants a little bit of love. That's all. That's I'm right. British. We we've had this <laughs> chat about Fink already. I mean, it's. He's just looking for a just little saying, bit of love. He's he, just hanging out. He's just hanging out. He's yeah. just hanging out. Leave the poor guy alone. Oh shit! <laughs> what do you what are you all shitting about yet, his uncle? Uh, I made myself a liar. Apparently, uh oh. I didn't think that uh, goon food would fit in the uh, the bonza. 
it barely fits. Oh shit! That that slot that's on you know the side that's got the hole. Yeah. I mean it's it's <laughs> it's a cunt hair just loose enough. This is tighter <laughs> than fish pussy. I mean it it fits, but <laughs> and one more one more piece of ribbon and it absolutely would not. So there you go for people that have the bonza. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that name in a while. Who? Spork life. <laughs> Who the fuck is Owen Ginter? <laughs> is Owen here? <laughs> what up, Owen? Owen? Oh, that's funny. All right. Oh, and where the fuck is your bald faced Ben? <laughs> is Owen is Owen here? Does he have I a beard or is he bald? What's up, Legion? I didn't see him in there, but I see um Church said Owen and so did Spark Life, so Oh, that's why I got top chat, not live chat. What? There we go. Why the fuck does that change to every time? Yeah, I don't see him. But... You gotta make sure you, you guys are you guys are making assumptions. You guys are making assumptions out there. There's still no. Oh yeah. Okay, I see it. Mm. Mm. There we go. <sighs> They're seeing I think really maybe like Owen Ginter. <laughs> Legion really likes your liner, Fresh. Thanks, Legion. Your one liner. <laughs> I love the I love field jacket liners. Everybody wished they had one. I used to have a couple. Ask TJ if he ask TJ if he wishes he had one of these. I still do wish I had one of those. I got a field jacket, but I don't have my field jacket liner. My I got the field jacket sitting hanging right right here. Mine's in the closet right there. Or over there, as it were. Mm. Oh, that's why Roro thinks that it's Owen, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's not. Uh, yeah, forgive me if I forgot some things from Saturday. It happens. <laughs> Although I can tell, I obviously do not drink anywhere near as much as I used to because I really didn't drink that much, but I was pretty fucking shitty. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, when I comment, it would be like two, it would be like two, and I'd be slurring words and falling down these days. I was, I it was. It would take me a really long time to drink two, though. I can tell you that much. I was. I'll be back. I'll be back to high school fresh row three, just sitting around sipping, just sipping. Just to be honest, all I had was the big tall arrogant bastard, five stone IPAs. And one other honey ale. Mm -hmm. So in all actuality, I probably drank like seven or eight in total. That's possible. Which really isn't shit. But goddamn, that stuff fucked me up. Is Owen is uh is our church coming to Detroit? That'd be sweet. Yeah. Ooh, that would be sweet. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that's someone just fucking with him, but. <laughs> Diner. Mm. Sure. From Diner. beyond the grave. Diner. Always left driving at the end. Why not come? I'm not sure exactly what that one was like, but something about come. No, no. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> That Jesse, Jesse's, Jesse's got his talking about cum. Uh, Randall Hayes wants to know which site that was on that those uh, flavors from real flavors were on. Uh, it's one drop, one drop flavors .com. It's their new PG line. Like I said, I wasn't impressed with the release uh, as far as what flavors they offered. I had high hopes. I had high hopes that they were going to uh, release several awesome ones, but they did not. I was hoping for like bread pudding and cinnamon custard and their uh, their baked bread and none of those were offered. This is so close, so, yet so far. 
It's just a, it's a real standard. It's a real standard flavor flavor release. Like you get your strawberries, your blueberries, your grapes, your cotton candies. Um, like I said, just kind of a typical kind of a typical release. Holy shit, he's alive! Hey, Tom Frank, DTF, what happened, brother? Uh, sorry about that. I was uh, hanging out with the Aussies. Had Aussie, to Aussie, Aussie. Aussie. Oh, yeah, had to help Pippa do a do a podcast because her OBS crashed in the middle of her stream, beginning of her stream. So she has recorded a podcast instead. She's going to nice. render it and put it up. Nice. So what are we talking about? Uh, I was telling about how you. I was telling about how you hit me with your truck and how your insurance, ah. how the insurance just breezed right through. Oh yeah, you know we're we're a very a highly insured company because we're very experienced in accidents. Okay. So you drive for Swift? <laughs> God no. <laughs> don't 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 ever don't ever insult me like that again, TJ, or I'll never come back on the show again. <laughs> I, I I fuck with people about that all the time. Uh, it's what? it's fucking funny to me. <laughs> hey, you know, just make sure that you can run faster. Yeah, I can outrun them. If they drive for Swift, I ain't got to worry. That was weird. My headset kicked out. I haven't noticed. He's had a nice little uh, quiet streak going there. Easdale still has not gotten a reply, apparently, because he's still V2. Oh, goodness. Man, I'd be going the fuck off on those guys. That's some bullshit. Mm-hmm. What's what we got? BJ Hunt. What? Yeah. That's what we call JB Hunter right here. Oh, I was oh, okay. Say, oh, Easter morning. <laughs> I want to so, know where you sign up for that fucking party. <laughs> so how is that going to work out for uh, fucking those people oh, for that's... Easter living on? Right. Well, kids are looking for eggs. Dad's in the house. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was today, though. Today's... March 14th. Oh, yeah, today is uh, Steak and a BJ Day. Steak and Blowjob yep. Day. I got, a, I got a bologna sandwich and was told, go fuck yourself. Hmm? Yeah, go fuck yourself. Yeah, go fuck yourselves. You got an hour and a half and low expectations. That's right. That's right. Remember, it's just like <laughs> procrastination. It's great until you realize you did. <laughs> <laughs> So fresh, did you take advantage of uh, the the real flavors uh, PG drop today? Yep, I ordered the entire line except for menthol. Yeah, actually, I did get the menthol because I didn't have any, and just in case if somebody wants something to mix, you know, for me to mix for, and I'll throw it in the stash. If I use it, I use it. Seventy nine cents, big deal. What's up, Mark Senior? Pippa, no need to apologize. He was helping yes. out, lending a helping hand. It's good. Yeah, it was it was me, Mark, and Pippa. I figured that when I get my menthol, I'm just going to send it to Ash. He likes menthol. He, re he really does like menthol. He's the best mentholer ever. Yeah, if you ordered the entire the entire line, it would cost you right around 12 oh, bucks. 72. Yeah, and yeah. free shipping. With free put. shipping for yeah. orders over five bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's a, I mean, that's. I mean, it's quite honestly, quite honestly clever of them that way, you know, because they know DIYers are going to be like, oh, really? 79 yeah. cents for a 30 mil of flavor? Okay, I'll buy that. And then they don't have to send the flavor line out to anybody because we're just going to go buy it because yeah. we're, we're a bunch of cheap asses and, and prices like that speak to speak our language. Yeah. And worst case scenario, if it's, if it's junk, then we're only out 12 bucks. Uh, if it's junk, we're sending it to our sponsor, YetiWire.com. That was the <laughs> that was the agreed upon uh, agreed upon course of action at the start of the show. Is that uh, if the flavors suck, everybody on the show that wound up buying them uh, is just going to send them to YetiWire.com. <laughs> there you go, twelve sixty four for the entire line. If you bought the entire yeah. line, um, I mean, for an entire line of flavors, I mean, there's bound to be one or two good ones. Yeah, Ease says even my broke ass got it. <laughs> what limit? For, That's right, Ease. What yeah. limit for um, flavoring is it? Is, as many as you want, or just one? No, you can buy um, as many as you want. Yeah, yeah. For that could price. Buy it. 
You, you can buy one, buy you can 50 buy... of, yeah. I mean, real flavor strawberry is nice. Um, so, I mean, like I said, there's a, the real flavor. Their custards are nice. There's a good chance their custard's going to be really nice. Um, <laughs> it's pretty tough to fuck up cotton candy. Yeah, Ethel Moto. <laughs> uh, it's OneDropFlavors.com, OR Church. OneDropFlavors.com. If you, do, if you go to RealFlavors.com, and click on their PG line, it'll take you straight to them. Uh, Yeti's uncle, uh, we're, we're supposed to see your latest commercial. Oh my goodness, not that thing again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I haven't shown it. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> yes, Fresh, oh. thank you for, t for turning me on to that Italian cream. I immediately put it in with my cheesecake, and I was supposed to let this steep, and it's gone. <laughs> Doesn't need it, does it? No. Oh, Over, well, I, I, put a, I put a hint of espresso in it mm. to give it a coffee back note with a cherry cheesecake. Mm. And it took it took about a day for the espresso to you know fall back and it's there. It's good. It's, it turned out really good. There you go, Niji. And, good job, Niji. Yeah, Hank's an Italian cream, everybody. If you haven't gotten it, if you need cream yeah. cheese or uh, mascarpone, mascarpone, yeah. if you need that flavor, uh, Hank's an Italian cream is what you're looking for. And Bull City Flavors is the only people that sell anything bigger than a 10 mil bottle. Yeah. And if you use Kitchen Mix 6, you get 6% off of Bull City using my code. I did use your code. Oh, thank you. Uh, story time with Yeti. We're all waiting on story time with Yeti. I know, right? There's, yeah, especially uh, if he used us, God damn it. There's a pretty good chance there's going to be one tomorrow. Heck yeah. Mm. Don't you threaten us with a good time. I'll take a pretty good chance. Yeah. Since there's not going to be a no fuck sweeping, we'll fill something. Put something in the, Why is there a no? Time. There's no fuck sweep. Yeah, just didn't want to do it. <laughs> just didn't, didn't want to do it. No, <laughs> Tommy's got some shit going on, <clears throat> hmm. and it's it's not the same when it's just me. I don't think so. You know, I, I I would rather instead of boring everybody for an hour and a half, we just postpone it. It'll be better next week, anyways, because we got Stefan Dideck. He's going to be on. Nice. Are you sure, Yeti? I'll go on there with you. Nice. nice. No, I mean that'd be all fine and dandy, Jesse. But I think we'd run out of shit to say after about thirty minutes. <laughs> they uh, they want to know: Are you going to do a live reading in place of no fucks vaping? Uh, probably not a live one, because <laughs> see a stand. I can't. I can't. Um, what well, I mean, what happens if I start drooling or launching snot rockets? You know, that's <laughs> you know, you, that's you good content that right there. That's exactly what we're. That's exactly what we tune into. In the story time with the uncle to see, like that might get you more subscribers. <laughs> I've thought about that, but I, I honestly I don't think it'll be as fun. Later, Stan. Thanks for showing up on time. How did he get a wrench? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot to take that away from him. I'm going to take it away so that way when he comes back next week, he doesn't realize. And he has to ask. <laughs> That's right. There you go. It's gone. Who did we lose? Lifa. 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 Where'd he go? Where does Robot Giner go? Welcome after band practice, Adam. I was just told that Golf T Vapes is now live. Jesus fucking <laughs> Christ. Really? Seriously? I got that 40, 45 minutes ago. I just got it. What the fuck? YouTube's playing their games again. Fucking shitbirds. As I'm doing a live show on YouTube. 
<laughs> Come on, boot me, motherfuckers. <laughs> you won't do it. Away, vaping. Oh, they'll get you. Oh, All of a sudden, there's mysterious problems with your stream. Oh, yeah. You got buffering issues. In that case, I'll just drop a link in the chat while I leave the live stream running, and everybody can come in, and we'll just all chat for the next hour if that happens. <laughs> Fuck it. Damn it. <clears throat> Are you going to have your wife film the video so that we can hear her giggling in the background? <laughs> <laughs> On that, that one, <clears throat> when I first found these books, they give you like a real small, like a section, like five pages to, to preview, you know? Yeah. And I was, so I was reading them to her and uh, she was, she was laughing harder than I was. <laughs> it, was it was, I think she was the one that was getting me going, honestly. Good. That's what, that way you laugh more and then we laugh more. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, that's right. Being as you did change your name, I never did give you a wrench back, did I? There you go, Pippa. Yeah, um, Pippa, I don't think you're any longer the unofficial marketing manager. I think it is official. <laughs> huh. And that's why I got dumped from the team. <laughs> Man, I'm not, I'm not joking at all. When she sent that to me, I literally pissed a little. I started laughing and I peed myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was totally not expecting that at all. And the very end of it's what gets me. <laughs> hey, G. Bye. <laughs> G's in the house. Hello. Oh, what up, John Carl? Hey. Oh, shit. Lionel's. How about the MAGA? I'm glad I was able to check in on uh, Sunday. Did I, see the, did I see this commercial? Um, Wait, sure. Where's it at? It was on Facebook? Well, I, gave her, I gave her a wrench, so whenever she decides to share it. Uh... Okay, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to respond to that. You're, you're clear. You're clearly inviting inviting me to make comments on your grammar. <laughs> I'm going to ignore it. Uh, Raven Shadow Vapes is upset at uh, John Carla for not telling her how good Fat Tony is in a dripper. Um, Raven Shadow Vapes. Um, I don't know if you watched. Uh... Was it probably a month or two ago? I don't do coffee at all. I fucking hate coffee, and I said that was fantastic. Yeah, Tony. That yeah. Tony's pretty nice, and like I, tiramisu, tobacco. And then there's that coffee background in it, and it was fucking fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah, that one and Disco Java are two of the best coffee vapes out there. You know what? And that one too, I even tried. Like I said, I fucking hate coffee. I don't drink it. I don't like the smell of it, but because I had some, I was going to try it, give it the old honest effort there. And that was outstanding. It, for what it was, it, it tasted great considering it's coffee. I still don't like the flavor, but the flavor that, the way it came through, it tasted like a fucking straight cup of black coffee. Yeah. I was nervous about it trying them myself because I'd had some coffee vapes early in my journey that sucked. There's no nice way of putting it. They flat out sucked. And I'm like, if that's what coffee vapes taste like, I don't want any part of them. And then when I saw his and I heard some people talking about and watched some reviews, I'm like, I'll give him a try. And I'm glad I did. Hell yeah. Yes, G, these are not paid advertisements. Because um, <laughs> I'm out of um, something, and I haven't been able to order lately because I'm a poor man saving up for Detroit. So, um, but, Are we all? I know. Yeah. 
And then I gotta buy I gotta buy fucking insulation because the attic in my house is not fucking insulated properly. So I have to go and spend about nine hundred bucks on insulation, and go sit up there after I get back from Detroit and pray to God I don't fall my fat ass through the goddamn ceiling because I, I don't want a skylight. Fucking yeah, we had we had the same thing today. We had a guy come out from the pest control company. I also do insulation and stuff and. They quote as 1800 I'm like, yeah, no, I'll go to Lowe's and I'll buy the kit and I'll do it for about 500 Yeah. See, you're lucky you live far enough south where your R rating doesn't have to be so high. Mine, yeah. just in materials alone, it's going to cost me about 900 bucks. Yeah, I can buy that kit from, you know, it has like a, like almost like a like an air thing or air can in it, and everything has. And you can just blow it in yourself. And the the kit's like three hundred and fifty. I might need two of them, or I might need like a refill cartridge thing or something for it. Yeah, I, I looked at a while back, and I need to do it again because ours isn't necessarily insulation from the cold; it is insulation from the heat. No, gee, I'm not asking for handouts. I'll I'll, I'll buy what I need, buddy. You. Use- You've taken care of me in the past. We're good, brother. I got you. Uh, and yeah. yeah. No worries there, brother. Like for me, I'm going to actually go up there and we're going to just spray some um, uh, um some loose um, fiberglass insulation up there because yeah. we're not going to be using it. And I think it comes out to what they say we have to have like 12 or 16 inches. Yeah, mine's only 8. Yeah. It's because of how far north I live in order to get yeah. the proper rating for the house. And I'm like, hopefully, once I do that, um, that'll take care of the fucking um, the goddamn heating bill. Because the goddamn heating bill this winter was just fucking retarded. What yeah, do you got? Have, like an R35 or something? Or R40? It's an R48 is what they said. Okay, that's right. Up there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll have to look at the I'll have to look at the report and see if it actually had an R rating on it. But uh, the guy the guy that came out told my wife like eight inches. Yeah. Well, if he wanted to give her eight, eight inches, inches and give me like, a discount, you know that's that's fine. There you go. Eight inches is like like around twenty five or an R twenty five or something. Okay. So great says he'll come help you, TJ. That's good. I'm going to need somebody to cut the fucking bags of fiberglass, open them, and throw them into the blower as I'm sitting up in the attic. <laughs> it's not fiberglass, though. It's shredded up newspaper with... Um, yeah. Oh, no. I'm going to use the fiberglass. that Because um, that loose paper shit, it's cheaper, yes. But the catch with that stuff is, is it's a lot fucking heavier. Yeah. And because... Now, mind you, I've got an older home. This was built in... Is it 48 or 58... So it's it's solid. It ain't going no fucking wear, but I also don't want to put the extra wear up on that attic trussing because, to be honest, I don't want to have to deal with that fucking roof starting to sag or anything like that. So yeah, My house was built in 1900, and that's one of the things I'm dealing with is I got to – the people that had it before me, it had that the old-style blown-in insulation up there. They removed every bit of that insulation from all of the attic. And so I'm I'm putting in insulation now. What is it, like bag it up and take it with them? They bagged it up and it was out in the backyard where the garage used to be, but burnt. And there was I've I've already got rid of over seventy bags of that stuff, and there's still about fifty bags left. But it's all been rained on and all right. Yeah, there's a couple of fuck yous that go out to some people right now. One of them, Eric, fuck you. I don't work in a truck stop. I'm too pretty for that. Two. Easdale, go fuck yourself. I'm not killing myself with asbestos. I mean, it's good. Love it's you guys. Good <laughs> you go up there, you, you're fully geared up. You know, you take your chances with mesothelioma, <laughs> and then you just seal that attic up. Never There's a reason anything. why I switched to vaping. I would rather avoid that. <laughs> Crossplay Breaking Bad, though. Exactly. Shit starts going sideways, you go start making meth. That's right. You know. Jay. Oh, yeah, and then the house will be warm all the time. Yeah. Be warm. Well, no, you don't make meth in your house. You saw what happened to Jesse. You do it in the garage, and then the garage burns down like mine did. 
<laughs> I didn't say there was anything wrong with truck stops there, Scott. No, don't get your panties in wad. My name is just not synonymous with truck stop hooker. That's how this works. Yeah, they sell fuel there and like sodas and sometimes... Exactly. Hazel was a waitress. She was a waitress there, TJ. That's completely different. He... Eric was talking about me going out and fucking trying to blow people, give them the fourth point of contact as a point of entry. Not happening. Man, truck, truck, truck stopist. That's what he is, everybody. TJ is a truck stopist. <laughs> That's this assumes it. everybody to truck stops a hooker. Not everybody. Anytime Frank pulls in for gas, hooker. Just like, <laughs> and look, I can't fit the profile of a toothless Tammy because I got teeth. And they're real, so they ain't coming out for anybody, you know. Unless you hear that? Did you hear that, Hazel? He just said, "TJ just said you don't have any teeth." Did you hear it? Did you hear it, Hazel? Y'all motherfuckers can kiss my ass. <laughs> lives matter. Hey, look, I'm all about get in where you fit in, but that's not where I fit in. <laughs> I am no lot lizard. Thank you, Legion. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. See, lot lizards at truck stops are fun to fuck with. That's about it. Other than that, no. Yeah, as long as my rig oh, no. loaded down with cars, I ain't fucking... You know, if, if I'm loaded, I don't fuck with them. Oh, well, <laughs> shit. I'm empty, we, it's like, yeah, okay. We can no longer use the name Toothless Tammy because apparently Hazel's name is Tammy. Oh. <laughs> there you go, TJ. There you go. Open mouth, insert foot. Okay, Digging loose lips, Lucy. Deeper. There you go. We'll adjust it. We'll call it loose lips, Lucy. How's that one? <laughs> Just so you know, Chromish Brown's real name, TJ? Lucy. Up, oh, up. Oh. Get in where you fit in. <laughs> or let in what you can fit in. Whatever. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm done defending this. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Y'all say what you want. I don't give a goddamn at this point. <laughs> Truck stop hookers got to make a living. What do they say? $20 is $20, right? Frank, you just rolled your eyes because you've been down that road before, haven't you? Uh, no. no, I have I have not. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm, stuck giving them, I'm giving them money to go away, but not to come in my truck. And the, and the truck <laughs> That's what you always pay. Look, look. Uh, all right, let me explain something to you, because apparently you've missed this. You can't say I gave them money to go away. When you get a hooker, you don't pay for their services. You pay them you to pay leave. You pay them to leave. Exactly. So you can't say that because you're in a conundrum there. If you're paying them to go away, it's the same concept. May as well yeah. get something out of the deal then. Just pray to yeah, God it ain't herpes. Something I can't take home, right? <laughs> yeah, you just don't want something Ajax won't take off. Exactly. <clears throat> hey, how come Spork, Spork Wife doesn't say hello to Fresh 03? Hi, Spork Wife! <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be the last we see of Spork Wife for a while. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's in YouTube jail by now. <laughs> Eric says we just saw the lot lizard peeking over your seat, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> get back there, get back there. <laughs> Slap that bitch a little bit. Get back there. She said, beat me, make me feel dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, wait till after I'm done with the live show. <laughs> you only you only paid me for an hour. <laughs> Ooh, roast beef Rosie. Good call, G. <laughs> Whose name is Rosie out there so we can offend everybody? <laughs> oh, she says, hello. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Spork Wife. Thank you, Spork Wife. Diner. What? Where did Life go? Has anybody messaged Life? Yeah, I should message him. What happened? Did the kids? All I heard, is, all I'm hearing is Robot Giner. I know. 
Let me send him a message. Here. Makes me sad. Makes me sad thinking about our good friend Lifea. It's Harry Eric Sutherland's out there, Todd. Oh, daytime Frank's uh, lot lizard had an Adam's apple. I didn't catch that part of it. Oh, oh th thanks a lot, Eric. Wow, man, the hater aid is out in full oh, force what? today. Yeah, and that one ain't giving you electrolytes. Everyone's Cheerios got pissed in today, huh? Raven Shadow, it's called the Little Old Orphan since junior high. <laughs> yeah, that's the right one. Kids these days, they tell you. <laughs> oh. That's right, John Carlo. That's sad news. Oh, uh, okay. Six ten. Okay. Six ten. Fresh is giving the eye contact. Uh oh. Eye contact's not good when we were just talking about lot lizards and shit you can't take off with Ajax. <laughs> Shit's contagious. <laughs> the ghost of Stephen Hawking returns already? Damn. <laughs> didn't, t didn't take him long. No, it did not. No. What did he get to? Did he get to the gates? And Saint Peter was like, uh, "Yeah, you, you ain't coming in here with that voice." Yeah, he's probably back to his sexy British accent. <laughs> yeah, before he got stuck yeah. in the chair. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Scott, these series just got um Netflix, and it's um running his life apparently. Netflix is ruining his life. No, Chromish, I am not doing a St. Patrick's Day show. That was I my St. Patrick's Day show on Saturday. You can go back and watch the replay. You can even watch the one. Yeah. There'll be some live mixing on St. Patrick's. I did have a good time though, even though I felt like shit until Monday afternoon. <laughs> I'll be all blo I'll be all bloated from corned beef hash. So did you get back on your bike yet, Fresh? No. No, tomorrow. I, thought, I figured you'd cheat and just I figured you'd cheat and go a day early. No. No. Nope. Not with the sores this thing's been. Um and then I'm still I'm still gonna be um I'm gonna take the bus to and from work. Um and only ride like the mile out and the mile back. And then the mile went the mile out and the mile back. So I'm only gonna be putting in like four miles a day, which is gonna suck. Gonna suck, but um, is it is it hurt to the point where it, like you think you're gonna need any PT or anything for it? I mean, what PT is gonna be there besides riding a bicycle? Yeah, so, it is yeah. true. Don't crash. <laughs> no, it's just it's just it's sore because I my job is to sit around all day. I don't get to get up and wander around all that much. Oh yeah, thanks for that altered carbon. I watched the first three episodes Sunday night. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. It's real good. It, look. It's, got, it's got everything you want in a sci-fi flick. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah, titties killing. Action. Yeah. Fuck. What else do you need? Did wife, like, wife, did she just get naked? All like, right. That and I'm like, okay, cool. I'll stop watching and let you catch <laughs> up. Just know before you even come into it, <laughs> favorite character in the whole fucking show is the hotel, and it won't make sense until you at least see the first episode. But as yep. soon as you get to the first episode, yep. it only gets better. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, first episode was kind of hard to follow real quick. And, you know, and then it was like after that first one and into the second one, everything came together. And it's like, oh, cool. Yeah, this is going to be yeah, good. They do cram a lot of story into that first episode. But once you kind of like get your bearings in the story. Yeah. It's worth it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> 
work wife is concerned about my knee. Tell her my knee's okay. It's just sore. I got hit by a, I got t by I got t boned by a truck. So I mean, you know that sort of thing happens. That sort of thing happens to you when you get hit by, when you get hit by a truck. Stupid fucking autocorrect. <laughs> <laughs> What show is this? Altered Carbon. It's Altered. on Netflix, God Cesare. Yes, you need to watch it. It yeah, I, I will definitely say it is worth spending at least the time to watch the first episode because you'll either be hooked hopelessly or be like, nah, that's not for me, and then you can walk away. Yep. Yeah. But if if you decide it's not for you and you walk away, you might be a monster, just saying. Yeah. <laughs> you could also you could also try out the first season of Daredevil and see see how that one grabs you. What else yeah, I is came, it? I came downstairs from uh, doing my show Sunday. And my wife was watching that one that you were talking about before. That, was it something Jones or whatever? What's Jessica Jones. Jones. Jessica Jones, yes. I ended up watching a little bit of that. I have to go back and watch the beginning of so I can follow it, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm about, what am I? I think I'm eight or nine episodes deep into the first season. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like I said, she gets it gets so much worse in season two. It's It's a fantastic. Fantastic, Jessica. Jessica Jones has a bad life. Yeah, and actually, I'm not gonna lie. That's what I've been doing at work because work. This is work right here. My work computer's right here. My play computer is here. So Netflix all day while I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> binge watch and shit. And um, I binge watch The Punisher in like two days at work. <laughs> nice. Punisher was amazing. Yes, I really hope they do another season of that. Uh, let's see. I'm a monster, apparently. I watched half the first episode and was bored of Jessica Jones. Or like every... Carbon. Oh, of Altered Carbon? Well, that's why. You only watched half an episode. Yeah, that show That show doesn't pick up until... Like, 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 like all those... Like all... Of the book and you didn't actually open to chapter one yet. Like, you got to finish that episode and then decide if you're going to walk away. If you want something short and funny, um, what is that fucking um, show? It's a uh, god damn it! I've been watching it lately. I can't remember what the fucker name is. Ah, uh, fuck! It'll come to me in a second. Um, it's about the devil's lettuce, but it's a comedy. A little short, thirty minute. Weeds? No, not weeds. Um, it's a, oh. I forget what the fucking lady's name is. She's from, uh, she played the mom in, uh, she played Adam Sandler's mom in The Waterboy. Uh, what's her fucking oh, well. name? God damn it. I can't remember her goddamn name for the life of me now. But she's in Kathy it. Bates? Yeah, Kathy yeah, Bates? Yeah, Kathy Bates is the lead yeah, in the show. It's fucking, it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, we watched that one. As we're about six or seven episodes into that. It's fucking hilarious. The second season? Um, I'm still in the first season. Oh. The second season just dropped a couple weeks ago. The downside is the missus, she doesn't do yeah. sci-fi shit. So all of the sci-fi Marvel stuff, she doesn't like. So I watch it on my own. So stuff like that, stuff I can get her to watch. So <clears throat> Disjointed, that's it. There you go. Thank you, Jen Jarvis. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't think my wife would like altered carbon, and she got into it right away too. I'm like, oh, cool. It's because there's a great big old handsome chiseled dude, muscle yeah. dude walking around yeah. the entire, just some man meat is the main character who's always naked. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And he's always getting the shit beat out of him, so he has all them scars on him. Yep. Right, he's rough looking and shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uncle Raven was watching Disjointed at Bay Pro. How does that surprise <laughs> me? That does not surprise me at all. Brain Sonic. That sounds very much like something Raven would do. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Got to pass. You, you walk in. He's just sitting. He's just sitting there laughing his ass off. You put your put whatever you're trying to buy on the counter, and he's just like, "Go fuck yourself." Uh, yeah. I'll get to you after this episode's over. <laughs> Sit down and watch for a while. Where you where where are you going? There's pizza in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fucking good. <laughs> uh, 
like some of the Marvel stuff. Yeah, some of the Marvel stuff's really good. Some of it's pretty good. Yeah, we got a new new Luke Cage. New new season Luke Cage coming here in a little bit. It's gonna be awesome. Hopefully they hopefully they learned their lesson. <laughs> hopefully they learned their lesson after season one. Ah, well, the books, Flavor Pro Jennifer Jarvis, spoiler alert, the books will still not be finished by the time that that season's over. <laughs> spoiler <laughs> alert. The books in the, in the TV show only stay the same or stay parallel up until season three. From season yeah. four, completely independent from the books. Yeah, everything, everything starts running in different directions. Like, they still cover the big events, but... Um, yeah, a lot, of the, a lot of the characters are, like, different from book to... Well, you know, it's just like anything that goes from book to show or movie. They have to adjust that shit to fit both uh, TV ratings and time allotments. You know? A lot of budget. And, and that too. budget, too. So, I mean, look look at what they would have had to have done if they would have done Lord of the Rings by the book. <laughs> We'd still be getting movies. Yeah. <laughs> Even at fucking three, four hours of pop, we'd still be getting movies. I mean, they cover a lot of the big stuff, and then you keep on moving, moving on from there. Uh, just watched trailer for Altered Carbon. Now that looks like my kind of show. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, a, like the the trailer the trailer only covers part of it. Yeah, like, it, uh, really like as things start coming together to, for for you as you're watching those last couple episodes, you're like, oh, oh, the whole time, the whole time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm just wondering why if everything in the future just looks like shit. You know, all the towns and everything, everything's you know made out of old shipping containers, and it's like every sci-fi. Show you know based you know well like you know fifty to sixty years from now everything you know all the cities are all like they all look like they did back at the turn of the century everything's just all open fires and well look at it because, kind of, because people are involved yeah <laughs> it's, it's like there was a nuclear war and these are people that survived and they multiplied you know that to be honest that doesn't seem far fetched to me at all. Look at the way we fucking do things. Yeah. It, it's not a surprise that a couple hundred years from now, shit might look that bad. Yeah. It's, it's got a couple luck. hundred. It, and it might be faster than that. I mean, go into some fucking projects in some cities. Shit already looks like that. Yeah. yeah I was going to say, give us, give us 50 years. We'll be set. Oh, fuck, <laughs> I might see that before I die. Maybe. Uh, living in a shipping container, sweet. Although you know what, there are people now who are building homes out of shipping containers. I was going to say, to be fair, the whole tiny house movement is really taking advantage of shipping containers being cheap nowadays. Well, yeah, because you can get them for fucking what, five, ten grand a piece, depending on the size of your uh, shipping five container. Up, still in condition. Yeah. And they're basically weatherproof. That's it. I mean, if you like um, tin roof sounds from rain and shit, you're set. And it's like that in that town there, Bay City. Then you look and you realize, oh, wait, that's a Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> they built the whole city on the bridge. <laughs> Josh Fabes grew up in the project. See? See, he gets it then. Shit looks that bad there, didn't it? Yeah. John doesn't die in the first book. He, I'm on the third book now. <laughs> it was a five minute ride to Camden, New Jersey. I saw projects. <laughs> there's a place there the cops is, he's advocating the beginning of idiocracy right <laughs> oh um, Rondo. fact I just you know it just popped into my head and I forgot to do I forgot to you by um, no I forgot you sent me fucking codes oh yeah <laughs> Hey, those things. Yeah. We should probably give those out. Yeah, you know, they like that. <laughs> Tell you what. Um, let's see. 
I know Jesse likes to write numbers down. Jesse, why don't you write a number down now? He already had it. You He's already, already done. done. <laughs> okay, cool. Kind of figured. Done. Well, that was easy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give two away in this first one, being as we're about an hour in, so that seems about right. Because I still have two left over from Saturday's show because two people didn't get a hold of me. So um, we're going to give away five tonight. Oh, shit. Holy shit balls. So uh, from one to a hundred, give me numbers and go. Yeah, I was saying about Camden before there's spots in Camden, New Jersey that the cops won't even go into during the day, let alone after dark. Hmm. Yep. See, shit like that shouldn't be possible. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's a failure on our part. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a failure on us. Oh, yeah. And something like that is able to exist. Bad when the cops are afraid to go into a place and their job is to go into that place. <laughs> yeah. Although, on the other side of that, I look at it this way. You have a bunch of kids who are 18 to 24 that go into the military and go willy-nilly and get shot at in other countries. And your police force is afraid to go into a fucking a hood. Fuck off, you goddamn pussies. Well, they've had they've had so much corruption in that city where the state pretty much had to take over the city because it was just so corrupt, and they don't even have a police force anymore. They have a metro division of the county sheriff's department. This is what they have now. There isn't more Camden City Police Department. Yeah, I'm just a look at stuff. Time. Get your shit together. Unfuck yourself. There you go. That yeah. covers all bases. I mean, they took the one little section by the hospitals and the waterfront where the you know, the amphitheater and the ballpark is. That's all rehabbed and really nice and everything. You go two blocks away from there and you may not return. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I, I've been down to that ballpark one time as a kid growing up. I, you couldn't pay me to go there again just because just cause of what it looks like going into there. Well, there's, there's been a couple places that I, I've traveled where people are standing behind Bolo Prugas going, what the hell are you doing here? You don't belong here. You need to get the fuck out of here. I'm like, well, okay. Right. Jetting. Thanks, bye. Okay, thanks, bye. Yes, Ebona. That's like when I first started driving. I was running local delivering Payless shoes. And there was a a store that I had to serve. It was in the Germantown section of Philadelphia. And there was a social security office right there. I rolled in there like 4.30 in the afternoon. It was in the fall, so it was just starting to get dark. And I had a fe you know, federal security guard, basically, for a social security office come over to me. He goes, white boy, how long do you think you're going to be here? I said, about 20 minutes, Get make this delivery. He goes, I wouldn't be here once the sun goes down. And then a couple towns like that. Oh, well, that tailed off. All right. Well, let's do it. <laughs> Stop. There you go. What's out there is out there. Um, Jesse, what number did you have written down? You're, you're muted. You're, you're muted, muted. God damn it. Do you want just one number or two numbers from that bunch? The first Ooh. one is that. 71. 71. Can I do another number now? I already picked them. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad I already did it. Uh, uh, looks like the Vapex. Yep, he's the closest without going over. Vapex. Email me at golftvapes at gmail.com and I'll get a code out to you for dirt cheap e juice, courtesy of the Meter Vapes, who is currently AFK or away from his keyboard or monitor or whatever the fuck you want to call it. What's the second number, Jesse? 42. 42. Life, the universe, and everything. I even have a third number just in case, but <laughs> I didn't plan on a third number yet. It looks like Rufinis. Yep. Rufinis. Congratulations, Rufinis. 
Email me at golftvapes at gmail.com and I'll get a code out to you tomorrow for dirtcheapyjuice.com. Tell you what, pink pussy. I'll let you ask her in person. Ivana, Pink Pussy wants hey. to know if you'll. Okay, Pink Pussy. Ivana, wow. Ivana, Pink Pussy wants to know if you'll marry him. <laughs> <laughs> so great, says Jesse. You're a number or. Sorry, 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 Pink Pussy. She's she's only into she's only into black pussies. <laughs> Racist cat. It's all right. We got three more to give away. Don't feel bad. There's more opportunities out there. More chances to win. That was a nice appearance, though, Yvonne. You showed your face. You showed your claws. I think that's a no. <laughs> just because that that cat hates everybody. It's not just me. Like, don't get this. Don't get this screwed up. Like, she does the same. She does the same thing to anybody that gets involved in her life. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I'm out. Bye. <laughs> Speaking of hands in marriage, uh, when is the zebra going to ask the lion? Come on. It's got to be at Detroit now. Yeah, it's got to be at Detroit. If it doesn't happen at Detroit, there's bigger problems. Because I expect the lion to just maul the piss out of you then. <laughs> Live in front of all of us. It's going to be glorious. At the convention in front of the Aspire booth. And we're I, all going to... I can't think of anywhere more romantic. Well, unless the RoboCop statue's up. Then, then it has to be in front of the RoboCop statue. Yes. Who are you Next, flipping I, off, Jesse? Jesse's just... Whoever chooses to get flipped off. Man. Why are you Next. such an asshole to people? No, no. Pe the people that deserve it know who they are, and they're, they'll accept it. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> I, I, look, I want to take a second here to apologize for the way that Jesse acts on a regular basis on my show. No. I'm almost ashamed. I'm not flipping everybody off, just the people that deserve it. They know who they are. That's not okay. Why not? We're it's here not to be pillars of the community. Not be Folks, Sometimes you need a you need a good <laughs> cup. You. I can't keep a straight face on that. I'm fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> what was that meter? I just wanted everybody to know that the opinions and middle fingers of Jesse Strucker do not in any way, shape, or form represent the views or opinions of the rest of the panel. That's true. Oh, absolutely not. I just know that everybody they're not everybody, but some people deserve a fuck you, and I was just putting it out there, you know. Jesse. <laughs> You can give them the finger if you want to. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that Are you fucking okay? Guy. The trauma of being on the internet, Ivana. Are you okay? <laughs> I didn't mean it in a bad way. How about that? Yeah, I could. I could just picture it now in Detroit. Minmo and Socrates walking past the Mamasan booth, and Socrates just looking over and seeing Pandora, and Minmo just snatching him up, saying, "What the hell you think you're looking at?" <laughs> oh. oh, Lord! Pippa just sent me a. Oh. This is exciting. <laughs> 27 core goon food. Oh, shit. In 80 gauge. Nice. Damn. Yunkle doing it up big. 
Right, writing checks, my ass can't cash. <laughs> I did see a uh, 54, or was it 52? 54 gauge alien that was aliened around a piece of 0.3 ribbon. They used 0.3 ribbon as their core and they aliened around it. Jeez. A piece of 54 gauge alien. That would be weird looking as fuck. Yeah, I'd be. I'd be pity. Says <laughs> I've got a picture. Yo, Yunkle, Yunkle, did you say that out loud? Where Scott D. Sayers, Scott D. Cesare can hear it. Oh, he's seen it. So I got this from Pippa. Everybody. I told you, fish. I'm not marrying any pink pussy. If I can go right, get a clean, get a right, get a right, get a nine. I am my own thing, and I'm not marrying any pink pussy. Oh, thanks, Pippa. That was the that was the laugh I needed. <laughs> oh man, Ivana, Ivana, dropping messages via Facebook Messenger now. Uh, uh. That's awesome. Yeah, Pippa made a recipe tonight. It was all from uh, Aussie East Eggs uh, concentrates. And she had a mascarpone concentrate. I'm like, I think I need that in my life. Ooh, ooh that does sound good. Nice. Um, I mean, you've got Italian cream. It's pretty close. Yeah. What the hell? Jesus. Yeah, that's, that's 0.3 ribbon and then 54 gauge wire alien wrapped around it. Holy shit. That's like that's way thinner than human hair. Yeah. Like yeah. Jesus. It's like like fiber optic cable and heat it up with electricity. Oh, it's it's fifty two. It's fifty two gauge. I apologize. Close enough. <laughs> Fucking insane. When will they learn? Need a microscope Never. to be able to clap in that shit. I know. I don't know how the dude didn't go blind doing that. He had to have done it under like a microscope. He had yeah, there's, to. there's no, there's yeah, there's no way you're doing that with the naked eye. No way yeah. in the world. Well, My- shit, man. I mean, this this thing alone. I mean, I can barely do 26 kJ lens with you know with this. That's not even counting the 40 gauge, let alone a 50 gauge. Yeah. It's fucking insane. It's got six different fucking flip outs for microscopic view <laughs> off of it. Well, this one, ironically, this one has, uh, there's two options. You can double up the magnification on it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll try that. Where's my... See if your uncle goes blind wrapping coils, even with microscope. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to dig out my... I don't think I would have enough patience, nor nor would I have the fucking sensitivity in my hand enough to be able to manage that. That's, oh. I got That's the, the problem. I have the fucking shakes from too many years of too much caffeine, and so I, there's no fucking way. That's the problem with me is, like, even on, like, 44, 46 gauge... I it, I can't even hardly do a, a fuse Clapton because it's so it's so fragile, you know. It's it's sitting there spinning, and then without without even doing anything, it just snaps. You know, it's like fuck. I don't know how people do this with anything bigger than 40, 40, 44 gauge. One little small <laughs> turn at a time. Six hours later, <laughs> yeah. for one fucking coil. Yeah, Not even with a, with, a, with, a, with a hand crank instead of a drill. Well, I've got one of those too. <laughs> I, I saw him, boy Josh, like hand spinning coils like that with a, with yeah. a hand drill, and I'm just like, yeah, that's that's too much like a job now. <laughs> well, the 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 hand drills are pretty handy, um, and it, for like getting like a perfect, exactly perfect coil, yeah. you. 
you kind of need one really for some of the really intricate ones. But if you have a really good um, variable speed, you you know, if you got a good one, you, you can do it without a hand drill. <clears throat> Just get it going slow enough to be able to yep. evenly space everything. Yep. Legion says there's no such thing as too much caffeine. Uh, you haven't met me. Like, there's a reason I quit drinking coffee. I don't. <laughs> I'm, I've mixed caffeine completely from my diet. I don't have any caffeine yeah. at all. Oh, I couldn't yeah. do that. Yeah, um, I'm like, like if you if if you've ever seen a, a show where I'm really really fucking scatterbrained, multiply that by about twenty all day all day. Because I used to drink I used to drink coffee by the pot. Like it was, it was, I was bad. I was bad on caffeine, but. Uh, the way I figure it, nicotine works just like caffeine. Got nicotine in my e-liquid. It's good enough for me. Yeah. The, the, the nicotine always just gave me like that little, like the, like vaping. It just gives you like a little jolt of focus. Yep. And that's about it. That's all, uh, that's all I need it for. But. And I don't yeah, have like what I was. Hmm? I'm saying I don't have enough nick in any of my liquids anymore to where it really makes that big of a difference. Uh -uh. Yeah. I mean, unless I'm not paying attention, I'm sitting there fucking chain vaping, and then all of a sudden I go, ooh, but, you know. Wait a minute. That doesn't uh, happen often, so. Yeah. That kind of happened tonight a little bit because I was vaping pretty hard on, you know, doing the recording with Pippa, then came in here and I just switched from a. Uh, you know, the e-liquid that I mixed, I ran out to banana bondage. Nice problem to have. And, uh, <laughs> and all of a sudden, I started feeling it. I was like, whoa, I need to slow my roll a little bit. That's it. That and being up for the last 18 hours doesn't hurt either. What's today? Today's the 14th. So what are we at? We're T minus exactly a month, right? Yeah. Right. Shit's getting heavy. So, oh, being as we're a right. month out now, who else is now coming to Detroit? I think pretty much most of us are going, yeah. I'm still pissed that I don't get to meet Meter in person. I know, I am yeah. pretty fucking, I'm pretty a chisel about that. Whatever that personal shit is, if I could come in and fix it for you, I would. I'd go break next for that. Yeah, if, if it was some shit that I could just shuffle some things around or pay some fucking money to be done with, then it would it would easily be good because I already had my fucking room booked. I literally was waiting for my taxes to hit to buy my plane ticket, which hit this week and just made me feel like shit even more. It's like, fuck so much of everything. The gur factor is through the roof. Just know I love you guys and everybody have a good time. And if you get duplicates of anything, send them to the meter vapes. That yeah. as well. I got your back, buddy. Ooh, interesting. Jeffrey Jarvis is drinking the highfalutin green tea now. Ooh, uh, Ooh fancy hand picked by the leaf. Did you hear uh, who was most likely going to be in Detroit? Who's that? A new addition. He uh, he told me last night that he is almost certain he'll be there. Black Hat? No. Oh. oh. No. No, not Scott. Uh, Nick. Oh, Nick yeah, Devine. Nick Devine. Yeah, Nick nice. Hell yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it's okay, almost, awesome to meet Nick Devine. Almost certainly going to be there. Sweet. That would be amazing to meet that dude. Yeah. Yeah, he he did something in a video a couple days ago talking about going, or it might have been on Instagram. I can't remember where. Uh, Rufini's, yes, you did win. Yes, um, Rufini's, email me at golftvapes at gmail .com. I'll get that out tomorrow after I get off work. Unless we have a really slow day, then I'll get it to you during the middle of the day. <laughs> yeah, you can't interrupt the uh, the play computer. You know, it's got Netflix on all day, so we can't email you till afterwards. That's right. It it, uh, it does kind of put a damper on my days. Things of going on. The only the yeah. worst part of it is 
is I'm starting to have withdrawals from certain shows when I go and I leave my desk because I'm like, I can't watch this because the fucking missus won't watch it. So I'm going, shit. <laughs> like, I'm going back to my office to go take a couple of rips off the vape. <laughs> fucking back here for 20 minutes trying to catch part of an episode then go back out there. What fucking took you so long? Jesus, and I thought smoke breaks took forever. No. <laughs> no. Just hanging out. Just hanging out, baby. Uh, and then <laughs> I found another fucking bad thing here. I found a a nice, relaxing computer game for myself. It's a fishing game. I just sit and I fish. <laughs> like, I don't feel like freezing my balls off and ice fishing, so I'll just sit in the house and I'll fish. Until summer comes along, which... To be honest, I'm pretty excited to take my son fishing this year because I think he might manage long enough to where we can actually catch something and see if I can freak him out with a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I did it last year. There's some, there's a bag of leaves we had bagged up and some night crawlers got under it. I pulled, going, I'm moving the bag and I see him. So I bring my son out and I grab a fucking handful of them. I'm like, here, hold out your hand. He holds his hand out, put him in there. Wah! Fucking throws them. Thank you, no. little pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're my kid? <laughs> oh, come on. They're just worms, dude. They're not going to hurt you. I don't think he was expecting them to move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this weekend is the Bassmasters Classic in uh, South Carolina. Well, right on the South, South Carolina, Georgia line. Lake Hartwell. Uh, we're getting closer to the end. I better give these other three away here. Jesse's got, got the numbers written down. He's already got all three written down. He's already got all three written down? All right, well, in this case here, you guys know the drill. One to 100 and go. And we'll do three more out of this pull. So that way that covers all five that are left over, or all five that I had since there was two left over from the weekend. Guys, if you don't email me, the shit just piles on over to the next show. And lately, a lot of people have not been emailing me. So, hey, it's up to you guys. Uh-oh. Legion and Rufini, same number. Uh-oh. Who got there first? Oh. I see Legion got it first. What do you see? I see Legion got it first. So it looks like Legion. Rufini's, you need to pick a different number. Well, he already won once. Oh, yeah, so. he did win once already. Yeah, you can't win again. Don't bother. <laughs> can't give somebody two on the same show that's not okay yeah, i know definitely it's bad enough we get hashtag rigged all the time but um that'd really be asking rigged. for it rigged rigged apparently Richard Yankee wants nothing to do with this giveaway, so he just put a one on one in. Yeah, I was gonna say it looked like he was writing us something in binary for a second there. It's okay. Raven, uh, read that constant to know if you got his. I don't Raven, know. I might have. Raven. Oh my god. I haven't checked yet. Um, but I'm sure I Raven. did. So as long as you sent it to golf vapes at gmail .com, and that's T E E in the middle, not just the letter T. Pink Pussy needs to pick a different number because Raven picked that number once already. Oh, Pink Pussy, pick a different number. Nikki! Nikki B! Nikki B! What's going on, Nikki B? Gizzard wants 1100. Or is 11 your number? You just typed 100 afterward, Gizzard Stu. <laughs> should we give Gizzard Stu 11? We should. I can just picture Diz sitting in his chair just cackling as he's typing 1100. <laughs> Joke's on you, Gizzard Stu. You got entered anyway. <laughs> you know, Ken Kenny, I'm right there with you. I don't think... I'm going to be lucky if I get anything out of my son this year because he turns three in May, so I don't know how much patience he'll have. He has the attention span of a gnat right now, but maybe it'll be long enough for him to actually catch a little fucking panfish. 
All right, that seems to have tailed off pretty well. There we go. Way to fix, way to fix that pink pussy. All right, oh, very good. That was actually more than the last one. All right. Are you ready for the number? No Vapex, you can't win if you won one already, so you can't piff something unless you want to piff the one you won already. But then you're <laughs> risking not getting anything on this second go round. Oh, yeah, that, that healed off pretty quickly there. So let's go ahead and stop it right here. And what do you got for numbers there? So that way we can run these out. Three of them. 88, 88. Vaping Bachelor. Oh, you already know who they are? Jesus Christ, he nailed that on the head. All right, Vaping Bachelor, email me at golftvapes at gmail.com. And number 11, really? Giz. You, you're fucking dead serious. You want the third one? Yeah, what's the third one? Number 69, you would. You fucking juvenile. And that would be... <laughs> I, I picked him when I picked those other ones, so... <laughs> Alright, so Raven Shadows. Um, Vaping Bachelor and well, Gizzard, I don't need your shit. I'll, I'll ping it to you. Unless you're going to piff it. Um, so Raven Shadows and Vaping Bachelor, email me at golftvapes at gmail.com. And then... Spark Life, you'll get yours via IM. He's calling rigged. He won, and he's calling rigged. I know, right? <laughs> Gizzard Stew's ungrateful. He's ungrateful about all of it. You cheated for me, asshole. Right. Rigged. I, picked, I picked that number for Don. He just happens to like it, too. You cheated in my benefit. I'm just kidding, Giz. <laughs> Okay, well, in that case, um, I wasn't kidding about doing it because Dawn likes it. that's her favorite number. <laughs> in this case, um, if you're piffing it, Giz, who are you piffing it to? <sighs> Ooh, we're gonna make... Oh, no, he has to pick. Yes, Giz, you have to pick who you're piffing it to. Yep, that's the rules. Them's the rules. If you're piffing, you choose the piff. I think we need to go back to Google to pick the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Kenny, Are you nice. piffing it to Kenny B then, since he thinks that it's not fair? <laughs> well, somebody else already did want one piffed to Kenny B, so maybe. Come on, Giz, would you pick already? You're fucking killing me. Jesus. <laughs> Ooh, he says pip it to Chromish. Chromish, Chromish Brown. Brown. Chromish. Email me at golftvapes at gmail.com. All five of you, I will have codes out to you tomorrow as soon as I am done with work. So anybody who did get picked up today on that, codes will come out for Dirt Cheap E-Juice courtesy of the Meter Vapes tomorrow. Those are $10 codes over there, so load your card up because that's quite a bit there. All right. That. No more giveaways today. I'm over it. I'm done. Done with all this. And you motherfuckers better email me because I'm sick of these carryovers, goddammit. Because <laughs> then I have to keep track of which ones I gave away to people and which ones I didn't. And it's starting to become a headache. People are making more work for TJ, goddammit. Yeah. That's right. Quit making work for TJ. This is supposed to be for fun. Right? <laughs> Pink Pussy, if you'd have got it out there before Raven Shadows Vapes, you would have won, but a little slow on the draw there. Probably, I'm just saying. Don't thank me, thank the meter. I don't have nothing to do with this. I just run them out there for him. Thank that guy.
There you go. You got it. Yep, spelled just like the name at Gmail. Can't fuck it up that way. Although I am going by Richard Head tonight because, you know, I decided not? not to change my name. Uh, and being as that, uh, being as that did wind us right out to the end here, um, what I would like to do for all of you wieners um, is let people go around the room. In fact, um, Frank, since you relate to the party, you get to go first. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Daytime Frank at Daytime Frank's Reviews. You can find me on Instagram, YouTube. Uh, have a Tomorrow night, I'm on with Highway Vaping, 7 o'clock Central. Uh, he wanted to co-host for his vlog, so we're going to do that for like 45 minutes or so, maybe an hour. Uh, Sunday afternoon, 2 p.m. Eastern, mix in the kitchen. Uh, we don't have a topic, don't have a guest yet. We'll wing it. We'll, we'll have something figured out by Sunday. So everyone that wants to learn some more DIY, come catch us over there. <laughs> Thanks, TJ. Appreciate you, buddy. And who are you passing it on to there? Uh, pass it to Fresh 03. Well, All right. Battle, you're up. Uh, everybody watch Daytime Frank, 2 p.m. Eastern, Sunday. <laughs> Uh, who else can you watch? Uh, is there anybody coming? In? No, not a, not tonight. There's not anybody on later. Uh, tomorrow's Thursday, so there'll be the vape team. Uh, sometimes there's a no fucks vaping. Uh, a lot of times there's a no fucks vaping. Tomorrow we're supposed to get a uh, reading with the uncle. So those are always those are always a good time if you guys haven't checked those videos out. So check out Yeti's uncle's channel. Subscribe to him. Uh, Friday is Fog Life with Lifea and Gizzard Stew. I believe it's on Gizzard Stew's channel this week. Uh, then it'll be my show over on Fresh O3 channel. And then after that is Tommy Vapor. So you can check out No Tommy Show Friday? Nope. So we can run as long as we want to on Friday. Mm, good times. Mm -hmm. Good times. Friday, Friday we can do whatever the hell we want, apparently. <laughs> uh, Saturday is my show again. Uh, I have a Saturday morning show for DIY. Uh, then there is, let's see, Saturday. Do you got a show this week, Uncle? Yeah. Oh, okay. So the uh, Drop the Shame show will be over on Yeti's Uncle channel Saturday, right before Nikki B's show, which is also Saturday. Uh, so, yes, check out both of those. Double subscribe to Uncle if you can. If you have a troll account, subscribe to Uncle. Um, and then... Let's see here. What's Fresh doing? Fresh is doing uh, Sunday. There's Daytime Frank. Kicks the kicks the day off. Uh, right after him is the... Who is Mix it? Life. Mix, Mix Life. Life Podcast. Mix Life Podcast. Then it's the Mix and Vixens after that. And then there is uh, Not Another Vape Show. No, not... It's uh, is it not another... Is that, is that what Mark calls it? What's Mark's show called? Mark Fagan's show. Yeah, I think that's right, but are they doing yeah. one this week? They're all going to be yeah, in Foxwoods. No. Yeah, they're all going to be in Foxwoods. They might. Who knows? Because Foxwoods should be over, so they might all just be sitting around in a hotel room laughing. Um, so Mark Fagan show and then Overdose Vapes on Sunday. Monday is, once again, me over on Brian's channel to go see uh, Brian the Vapor Chronicles. Uh, we will not be having a show, so I will probably be do doing something in the in the meantime. Uh, I may do another like uh, DIY DIY for beginner show, uh, and then after that is the Plumes of Hazard, and then after that is Noted. I always forget Wayne's show, Wayne Walker's yeah. show, the In the Mix podcast Thursday, Thursday before the Vape Team, uh, and then Tuesday's Project Fog and uh, the Ohm Kiwis, and then we're right back here. Where you watch heavy metal vapor first, and then you come watch us hang out. <laughs> That's it. And now your week is planned. Planned. There you go. We've got we've got shows for you every day of the week. Every day of the week. And believe it or not, we all know each other, and we're all friends. So, Jesse, did you just get that message? I just gave that message to you. Yeah, from. Oh, okay. I didn't get that message. I didn't get that. Message. All right, got it. Well, um, I'm fresh. Um, if you want to put that out there, go ahead. Uh, we're doing another giveaway. Uh, Jesse, pick a number right now. 
of Jesse write a number down and he's going to hold it in screen the entire time that you guys are going and then he'll just flip it around and show you the number. That way we can quadruple check that we're not uh rigged. We're, we're not rigged. Not rigged. Rigged. There he goes. He's got it everybody. He's got his number. 1 through 100. Go. This is for a $25 gift certificate to Adori Liquid. And the winner will need to email her with the email address they want their certificate to be sent to. Did she? Oh, I was going to say, Don, did you get the, the, I sent you an email and a text about the people that won on my Saturday show. In this case here, we're going to keep going while we let you guys do numbers. And then we'll show that number right at the end. I'll pin him up. Okay. Uh, if you had more to say fresh, have at it. Otherwise we'll pass it along to somebody. Uh, everybody go vape Adore e-liquid. Go vape Omegadon e-liquid. Uh, get yourself a shirt from Vaping Swag. This is the sweet Duck Pond e-liquid shirt. Hashtag Ducky's got a knife. And just to make it clear, it's U.S. only. Oh, U.S. only. Yeah, be U.S. only for the winner. I mean, they could spend it on a Dory ETC, right? Um, she said U.S. only. U.S. only. U.S. only it is. Uh, 11 teen. So let's give Giancarlo 11. Again, he already picked that once. I don't think he's going to pick it again, Giancarlo. This is for a door, for a door, Giancarlo. <laughs> Pippa says video uh, is up, Frank. Pippa. Yep, Pippa's video is up. Got notifications. Thank you. So, who else would we like to go to that would like to? Uh, who, who haven't I passed it to? I'm going to pass it to uh, Yeti's uncle. Uh, remember everybody, ninety gauge, the home of the ninety gauge aliens, yetiwire.com. <laughs> well, I don't have anything to say. Fresh said it at all, so I have. I, co I cover the shows. Shows. I cover the yeah. shows, so you can cover, so you can cover you, so you can focus on you, Yeti's yeah, uncle. Yeah, but I don't have anything to say about me. So, um. <laughs> talk about your sweet show that's going to be Saturday, Yeti's uncle. Well, I can't give too much away. I don't. You don't have to give away guests. Just okay. kind of get, okay. run through the premise of it, man. Hey, uh, <laughs> as me and Fresh argue. Uh, know, right? Yeah, we are doing uh, another, our second Drop the Shame uh, uh, show this Saturday. Um, our guest had to back out, um, but he will be on the next show. Um, but we do, have a, we do have a pretty awesome show lined up. So... That will be Saturday at 7 Eastern. So those of you that are interested, those of you that come and watch, thank you all. There's so many of you all that come and watch. I really appreciate it. Um, I have a feeling this show is just going to get better and better with time. Um, but, yeah, thank you all. Thank you all. Um, I guess go to Jesse. Well, thanks for having me on the show, TJ. Um, Is your arm getting tired yet? No. <laughs> Someone said something about it and me shaking. I can't sit still. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, thanks for having me on. Um, yeah, I'm not saying it. <laughs> you, can, uh, <laughs> you can win this giveaway here from a door if you want to. And I think they're, I think they've, Done enough. It's good. I'll, I'll go ahead. And... <laughs> we got you pinned. You know what? Um, since you're pinned, um, and it looks like it's pretty much well died out there, let's go ahead and flip it over. What do you got there? 23. 23. Michael Jordan. Yep. TC Vapes right on the head. Oh, money. <laughs> I wish I hadn't picked that other number <laughs> already. Oh. TC vapes with the slam dunk. TC, you have to email Don already Dory Liquid with the email address that you want that to go to. TC's got to be excited. He got Kirk Cousins. <laughs> Giggle. <laughs> we got Jarek McKinnon today. I'm actually pretty excited about that. I think he's perfect for the for uh, Shanahan's system. Oh yeah. Congrats, TC. So on that note, there you go, TC Vapes. That's the email address you need to you need to get in contact with her directly. 
Yeah. We'll pass it on to the last member of the panel who has not spoken, who is always fit to finish us off. Meter, why don't you have at it, brother? Well, first and foremost, thank you, TJ, for, for having this show and letting a bunch of miscreants like us be a part of it. Thank you also to all you fucking lunatics who show up every Wednesday night to deal with these shenanigans and sit through the entire show knowing that it's still going to be us at the end of it. We appreciate you guys the most. Just like every week, I would just like to take a moment to, to say a little thing or two about someone in the community who isn't getting as much props as I feel that they should be getting. I'm talking about Scott Black Cat Whiteface. So if you guys right. aren't aware, not only is he an amazing coil builder, he also has his very own YouTube channel now. And if you aren't subscribed to Scott's YouTube channel, I don't know what the fuck you are doing with your free time. Because that man is just putting amazing content up every time he gets a free moment to do so. So stop what you're doing right now and go make sure that you are subscribed to Black Cat Whiteface. You can thank me later. <laughs> I concur. I'm standing and thank you. I love the way those outros go every fucking week. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, TC, TC, if you, TC, TC, if you didn't see that message, she would like you to email her now. There you go. NAO, NAO now. Yeah, do it right now. Now. Nah. So, for everyone, I want to thank all of you for coming out and hanging out with us. Um, I'm impressed at the numbers we keep all the way through the end of the show. Now, I remember back in the day when I first started this, and I was lucky to have 10 or 15 people left at the end. Fucking outstanding. I love you guys. Thank you for coming out all the time. Everyone on the panel, thank you very much for coming out. Um, Leva, even though you're not here, don't know what happened there. Uh, much love to you, brother. Um, thanks for coming. Um, anyhow, as always, I'm going to hit on this. Make sure you're educating, advocating, not for yourselves, not for the person to your left or to your right, but for that person who comes behind us because they haven't made that switch yet. Uh, also, to hit on this again, because I only hit on it at the beginning of the show, if you live in San Francisco area, make sure you are voting no on Prop E. Get anybody you know to vote no on Prop E. Because if that passes, that's setting a precedent for the rest of the nation. Anytime a big city like that pulls some shit like that. So make sure yeah, sure. you're getting out there. Get out there and force. It's a show of force, guys. Um, show more not to be messed with. We can come together on this stuff. That's right. Yeah, especially a city like San Francisco. It's yeah, an incredibly so. influential city here in the U.S. That it is. Um, oh, remember, it's not for yourself. It's for those people who have not made that switch behind us. Um, <clears throat> they haven't had that chance to switch over to a safer means and alternative. So we need to do that for them to keep this around. That includes voting no on property. Um, also, don't forget to email your representatives, um, state, local, um, the whole nine yards, anybody who has anything to do with that August 8th get in contact with them. You can actually just go to CASA or august8th.org and that'll get you right there. They have a form letter that you can send out or you can change it to be personalized yourself. It's up to you. If you just want to send the form letter, that's fine. The more we badger them, the better. It's going to ask you what state you live in and it'll automatically email every one of the representatives there. Okay. So it doesn't take but a couple of minutes. Unless you want to write your life story in there, then it might take a little longer. But if you're just doing the free form letter, it's just a couple clicks away. Other than that, um, Don, thank you very much for doing that giveaway there at the end. Much love out to you. Um, anybody who is not going to Detroit yet, get your ass to Detroit. We will sit, see you there. We're going to have a shit ton of fun. I know I'm going to be there for probably at least a day or two of it. So, um, possibly two, um, by the way it's looking, it might be a day and a half too, but I will be staying there overnight, so we're going to get a little partying done, have a little fun with everybody after the show is over, so. Hell yeah. Yes, that's right, TC Vapes. Yeah, we can all go eat Little Caesars together. That's it. 
Other than or, that, go, or, or go eat Coney Dog. You can go eat at Mudgies. We could go eat at Mudgies. Because I want to make sure these are all hit on, and I love everybody dearly. Make sure you're doing yourself a flavor. Go get you some of that knot from Concentrate from AdoreLiquid.com. Or if you're feeling like you're feeling like you need to donate a little bit, go pick up some of that Addy's yogurt. That's what I've been vaping on tonight, which oh, I yeah. need to do a little um, refill on out of my steep cabinet. And also, go check out Giancarlo and Omegadne Liquid and Duck Pond there. All of them you can use Pink Pussy at. That includes some um, coil vapes. You need some of that one, this one. Uh, this one funnel cake. There's a this one reserve coming for anybody who missed it. Um, they are going to be doing it again. I haven't seen anything about a drop on it yet, but I do know it's coming because I saw Dean post something up about it. So pay attention for that. Um, also, vaping swag. Go hit up vaping swag um, or vso.store if you're into that blueberry concentrate and that swaggy shade for your bearded needs. Um, as the meter would say, hashtag no more scruffies. That's it. Um, other than that, I don't know if I don't think I'm missing anything. And although there is something that I would like to point out, um, because I haven't done it in a while, and these guys were very kind to us all, um, and hooked us all up, and on a wonderful way to get the people who you are getting to switch to vaping, a cheap way to get into the juice area. Go check out these guys over at Vaporlick. Mm-hmm. They have some phenomenal flavors for the prices you're paying, and they're cheap. Uh, very cheap, very good liquids. That uh, yes, Dulce de Churro, that's some good shit right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a coil killer, right. but it's some good shit. That yeah, Wapple, though, I'm telling you, I can uh, fill a fucking hot tub with that Wapple and not complain. That, too. <laughs> oh. Know that there's a lot of them out there. Um, also, I know Stan showed up early before this show, so I'm going to actually sh shout him out tonight. Um Lucid RDA.com. Damn, that's good. Go over there and get yourself a dreamer. The Lucid. And you can also use that code Pink Pussy over there. I'll get you your 10% off and free shipping. So uh, let's know that there's a whole lot of pink list out there. Make sure you guys are hitting everybody up. Um, they're always fucking amazing. Uh, there's always wonderful people that we need to take care of. So make sure you're taking care of them because they're definitely taking care of us. All right. Other than that, I got nothing else for you. No. Love you all again. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. And we'll see you next week, Wednesday. Same channel. So, as always, my name's TJ, and you're watching Golf T Vapes. And who would like to take us out today? Uh, I can pull the music up if someone wants to start talking. Yeah, feel free. Whoever wants it. Daytime, daytime Frank. <clears throat> As you go through your day, make sure you're nice to somebody. Can't do it the way Gizzard does it. I just don't I don't have them memorized. But <laughs> if you can get one person to quit smoking this week, you've done a great thing and we'll get that snowball running. Get off your butts and vape. Masturbate. Bye everybody. Finger in your butt.